Welcome to Snowy Cake. Today we're at Bertha Pass, Colorado. It's 5.50 a.m. And I have to be quiet because there are hikers sleeping behind me. This frosting is so stiff. It's 52 degrees this morning. The sun's going to be up in 20 minutes. It's really hard to get it to move. Okay, let's check our colors. I'd call that periwinkle and coral. Let's mix them. The reason we don't just mix coral directly is it's more intriguing for your brain to mix the colors by looking through layers of pure color. This blue is a little brighter than that periwinkle because it's a cake. We want it to be cheerful. I put those background mountains too high But it's okay, they blend in. So we're gonna check our colors again. They look good, they look bright. The sun is rising. So even though we can't see the rough texture of the mountains from this distance, I go ahead and put it in. Now this is the fun part, putting in the forest. See how we just pull up on the frosting? And then we pull it over to make horizontal lines to look like water. We'll do that again. We'll pull up on it and then make horizontal lines. And then the foreground. We're going to do a bright green and yellow. All right, let's check on the trees. We're going to look for some basic shapes. Because if we go ahead and put in all 50 of those trees, we won't see anything of the background. So in the spirit of Bob Ross, I'm going to put in a tree and then put in a friend, and that way they can be happy. One of the things I want you to notice is we don't just take one color of green. Look at the bowl. We don't mix things all the way because we need many shades of green. Great, so now we're gonna slow down the footage because this is my favorite part, putting the border on. That is a good time. Okay, thank you for joining me so much. We're up at 11,000 feet at Berthard Pass. The hikers are up and they're visiting with me just out of the shot. <laughs> Okay, great. See you next time.